No hate, just straight facts. Today we are roasting some of BTS outfits. BTS actually tend to have really nice stage outfits but sometimes, sometimes they get a little interesting and I'm here to flame their stylist. First of all, this outfit hobby had to wear for on. Can this man even breathe? Mr. Star Wars Yoda Jedi Rise of the Clone Troopers Anakin Skywalker looking headers. Honestly they all look like they're about to whip out some lightsabers and start fighting Darth Vader but Hosiark looks like he's being mummified. I don't even know how he survived that entire Korea in that. 3 stroke 10. Jimin, Jungkook, Yoongi all have decent outfits here but my poor hobby was done dirty yet again with his half long sleeved shirt. Just, why, he's wearing like 3 different fabrics. It's as if the stylist took all the leftover fabric from my closet and made a shirt out of it. Namjoon's jacket is rather intriguing and although it's not as bad as hobbies, I don't like it. Just give him a normal jacket. And for Ti Hyung and Jin. I don't understand the shoulder slit. Why are they there? It's a good thing these men are super hot because anyone else would have looked like clowns. At least it looks like breathable fabric. 5 stroke 10. Speaking of breathable, these outfits look like they were wrapped in duct tape. There's no way that is comfortable. Can you imagine sweating in that? Like, it would just drip down your leg wouldn't it? There's no way that fabric absorbs sweat so it would just slowly drip down your entire be- Okay I'll shut up. Anyways, I get they looked cool in the dark with the flashlights but when the lights turned on? Different story. They probably sounded like rubber balloons when they were backstage. Four stroke 10. 2018 BBMAS. Alright this was just a mess. What is Namjoon wearing? Boy looks like he about to go film the fucking coconut ad again. And his pants. Why don't they fit? The poor man's ankles are probably freezing. This was such an important event I do not understand how this happened. The only ones who look ready for an award are Ti Hyung and Jin and they really looking fine. If Jungkook and Hoseok had less vibrant colors, maybe they'd look nice. Yoongi and Jimin look okay, but could use some accessories and better sizing because Jimin looks like he was about to be swallowed alive by his shirt. Honestly they could've destroyed the US with some gotay looks but I guess they wanted to spare them. It's a shame. 2 stroke 10. Jin fake love music core 180,602. Okay. I do not hate this look, it only bothers me because of how blue it is compared to literally everybody else. Like everyone is decked out in pink and all this man gets is a blue sweater and harness. They could have made it purple at least. It does however, further the pasteljin and his six emo boyfriend's agenda and I'm lowkey into that so I think I'll let it slide. This was a 5 stroke 10 but I'll raise it to a 7 stroke 10 for that last point. The way these men started dope era looking like sexy, full time employed men who had their life sorted out and ended in whatever this was has me reeling. Maybe it was the awful camera work that made me hate the stage but the outfits weren't the best either. The worst outfit has to go to Jungkook. There's no way this fit was comfy, especially given the courier. Those pants were riding up his thighs like there was no tomorrow and my boy did not need that as the child he was. 3 stroke 10. Now before I end this, I would like to give an honorable mentions to the 2019 Net Music Core Awards. Namjoon had the ugliest hat I've ever seen for an award show, Jungkook's jacket was questionable, Jimin's varsity jacket did not fit the occasion, Hoseok's gold jacket made him look cheap, Ti Hyung looked really hot, Seok Jin looked really hot, and Yoongi looked pretty good. Their outfits later on in the day completely saved them from being on this list because damn, they looked great. Anyways, that's all the horrendous outfits I could really think of. They have a great stylist that Loki needs a raise for styling all 7 members for 7 years like they must have put together over 1000 outfits by now. I'm just glad BTS didn't end up like Red Velvet. Ah!